Good morning. Welcome back from break. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, congrats, you made it to the very last unit of your ninth grade ELA class, and we're doing the podcast unit. I didn't get any letters back, so that means everyone gets to participate. I think it'll be a good time. Um, so we are reading, well, reading slash listening to a podcast called Serial. Now, if you've never done podcasts before, not a big deal. If you've done podcasts before, great. You can hear one of my favorites. And honestly, even if you've heard of the Serial podcast before, um, I think you will learn some different things going through this. Um, and honestly, it's my student's favorite unit because I think it's so interesting. And honestly, we don't have to read that much. It's more of listening. So it's kind of nice. Um, basically, the goal of this unit is we're going to work on our analytical skills, pulling evidence, um, looking for inconsistencies in evidence, and also kind of trying to make a judgment about a murder that happened. So with Serial, um, it's put on by a woman named Sarah Koenig. Um, she's this person. She was approached, and you'll hear all about this in the first episode, um, by a woman named Rabia, and she's like, hey, um, a close family friend uh, had this, he's been in prison and accused of murder from his high school girlfriend. And so it's really interesting um, how she explains how there's holes in the stories and like some things weren't really brought to light when they should have been, when there was a court case happening. And so Sarah Kennedy gets interested and involved. And so throughout the course of this like whole podcast when she was doing it, um, like week by week originally, more and more information came to light, people came forward to help, people gave different testimony. And so I want us to, you know, listen to all the episodes and make a personal judgment call of who you think committed the murder. You could say it's the guy who was um, currently in jail for it, Adnan. You could say it's someone else involved. Um, you can make your own personal like judgment call. Um, let's see, honestly, I think typically I have like seven or eight different like views that people have by the end of this. Like they'll say it's one of these seven possibilities. And so I think there's like a lot of room of interpretation and that's kind of what it's so interesting about because like it's so vague. So getting to the information you need to um, I have this, people we need to know. It's really helpful to kind of like come back and look at this. It's helpful to remember <clears throat> what's happening. But so down here, this is Adnan and this is the girl who was murdered, Heyman Lee. And um, they were dating and then they broke up and that's when she went missing. And then six weeks later, they found her dead body. Um, and that's so terrible. Um, and it's interesting to me, and I feel like it's a good podcast for us because let's be honest, you guys are Lambert kids. You live in Portsmouth County. We have higher expectations for our students. You guys push yourselves. You're very involved. You try very hard at like, you know, everything you do. Um, and that's not unlike both of these individuals. Adnan was very involved. He was involved in um, his faith. He was involved in school. He was very popular. He had lots of friends. And Heyman Lee was the same. She was involved in sports. She was involved in her family life. She was also pretty popular at school. Um, and so they were both in honors and AP classes. They were planning to both go to college. So like they are just like one of you guys. So I feel like it's someone we can kind of relate to. And that's why I choose for us to listen to this podcast. Um, what we're doing for this unit is you guys will have a packet, like a digital packet um, that you'll make a copy of. And you're going to go ahead and share that with me this week. And I give you very specific directions for how to do it. So that way I can see what you guys are doing week to week. And I can leave you comments. I need to have editing access so I can like leave you guys comments. I'm not going to change anything, but I'll make comments to you guys and I can kind of see how we're progressing. Um, and so you're going to keep updating your like digital packet week by week as we go. Um, I have the podcast video links posted and we're not listening to them all this week. Um, I don't really recommend rushing and doing it because you kind of want to have some of my things to talk about as we go. Um, but like this week, you're doing episodes one, two, and three. And we are actually listening to all the episodes. Some of them aren't necessary. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm very spacey this morning. I'm very tired. I'm coming back from break of hard. Um, so we're going to listen to the videos. I put the links in its learning. Please, 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 please listen to the ones that I posted. Um, if you have a podcast app and you're like, I'm just going to pull up on the podcast app. This is your warning now. There's bad words in it. And I put up the clean version that doesn't have the bad words in it. 
So that's the version I'm putting out to you. So it doesn't have bad words and I'll get in trouble for you hearing someone say the F word or like the B word or whatever. So we'll go with that. Um, I also have in there the transcripts because I know it's hard to listen and also keep track of evidence. So I have the transcripts as well. Some students like to like have it playing and they'll like pull up the transcript. I don't recommend printing them because like they're like kind of long to print all 12 of them. Um, but it's kind of easier to listen, like scan as it's reading it to you. And then like you can stop, you can pull evidence if you need to to answer questions. You can pack it. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, let's see. For discussion posts, each week you need to respond to the discussion post prompt by Friday, 3 p.m. So like this week I have a discussion post and you can choose a topic about episode one, two, or three. And you have to make a post, you have to make a good post, you need to have evidence. And that will be on by Friday, 3 p.m. Sunday night, you need to have commented on three other people's and not just, hey, I think that's a great idea. Ask them a question, answer a question that they asked, point out something else that they didn't talk about. Like give me something. Um, and that's kind of just so we can take attendance and also so I can see we're having like good discussions and interactions. Um, jumping backwards, in your packet, you'll be smaller obviously because like, you know, it's on the computer, but it's like you'll have boxes like this. I'm looking for six to eight bullet points per episode. And by bullet points, it doesn't have to be full sentences, but it definitely needs to be more than just a few words. Like you're trying to keep track of evidence for yourself and keep track of notes because it's 12 episodes, it's like 12 chapters. Like that's a lot of stuff. You need to have some way to keep track of information that's important. So this is what you gotta do. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. We already did that. Um, so this is Sarah Koenig, the woman who is writing the podcast and she like put this all together. Um, these, like this is Adnan Syed when he was in high school. This is Adnan Syed a few years ago. He's still in prison for it to this day. And they actually did um, a an HBO special about it, I think uh, a few years ago. And like he's put in for new evidence and stuff and like it keeps getting delayed. And so it's just very interesting how it's being handled in the court system. Um, the biggest evidence the state has against him is from this guy named Jay Wild. So we'll hear from him. And they were very good friends. And then Jay went to the state and said, hey, um, this is the guy who murdered that girl. And I have all this proof. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Um, another big player that you'll hear about is Christina Gutierrez. She was the lawyer for Adnan in his court case. Um, and a lot of people question her efficacy as a lawyer, which like that's definitely a problem. You'll hear more about that. Um, the one who contacted Sarah King originally was named is named Rabia. Um, and this is her, I want to see it's her father, who's good friends with Adnan. And so like that's how she knows Adnan. Um, and then you'll hear about Asia McLean in the very first episode. And she actually is very interesting because the biggest problem with Adnan's story is it's so hard to recall what happened weeks and weeks ago. And so like producing an alibi that isn't vague or kind of sketchy is hard. So as you guys are listening, um, I encourage you to, you know, keep track of all sorts of inconsistencies. Like there are all sorts of holes in the stories. There are things that change from people's alibis. Um, people change their minds. People say, oh, wait, actually. And so keeping track of those things can be important because it can help us be like, oh, you know, they, they just got confused, but it can also be an indication of, oh, they're changing their story. So um, boom, boom. This is more for episode three, but you still want to go ahead and look at it. Um, Adnan went to a place called Woodlawn High School in Woodlawn. Um, and it's like not terribly far out of Baltimore. It's closer to Baltimore than we are to Atlanta. Um, and so he went to Woodlawn High School. Hey, Min Lee went there. Asia went there. Um, Jay Wilds went there. And Hey, Min Lee's body was found over in Lincoln Park, which is a park, but it's also like a heavily forested area. Um, and so in episode three, it really gets into Lincoln Park. So this is what it looks like. It's, like. it's very foresty, very woodsy. Like these are literally pictures from there. Um, it has like some rivers running through it, but like it's not like a park to go play soccer. And it was like a park to go walk around in the woods if you really wanted to. Being outside of Baltimore, which does have, you know, um, more crime than other places. Um, Lincoln Park also became very popular for a place to put dead bodies. And that's where they found Haven Lee's body right here. So um, over the years, they found all sorts of bodies. Um, you don't need to know any of these people, but it's just something that they talk about that Lincoln Park was very popular place um, 
to look at your dead body, basically. So finding Heyman Lee there is not the most unusual thing. Her body was found right here. And so it was interesting that it was her body was placed in such like a popular area. But um, a big part that we'll get into, I believe, is not this episode. I think it's later. Um, it might be three. It might be five. We'll see. But a big thing is like how far it is to get from Woodlawn High School to Lincoln Park. Um, and so like it's not that far of a drive. It'd take 11 minutes to get there from the main way. But, you know, with traffic and stuff, it'd be a little bit different. But pretty decent route, 11 minutes to get there. So it's interesting that that's a whole like thing about getting being able to get there. Just so, just so you guys know. Boom, boom, we do that. Um, and this is the like drawing that they had from the police report as to when they found Hayes' body. So this was the street, this is the grassy area, and this is where they found the victim's body. Um, and we'll get into like what it means, but just so you like this image is here if you want to reference it when they're talking about it. Um, I think that's all we need so far. So that'll get you started for this week. I'll do these videos probably every week to kind of like touch base with you guys. I might have some that are specific to certain episodes, like episode five. I'm definitely making it its own video to kind of walk you guys through things. Um, and we'll go from there. So I hope you find this as enjoyable as I do. Um, if you have questions, feel free to talk to me about them or email me. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys post in the discussion you post. Um, and I encourage you with the discussion posts, like, love you, mean it, keep up with them. And um, try and be as involved as possible just because that's the way that I'm keeping track of us having some kind of conversation. It's digitally. Because, you know, I can't require you guys to come at a certain time to, like, a video chat. And that's fine. So we're doing it this way. So that way I can see that you guys are interacting with each other and interacting with the text. Because that's part of our standards is working in groups and, like, collaborating through discussions. So this is how we're trying to do it. Um, I hope everything goes well. There will be a summative with this. It will be the last summative before your final. Um, so finals. To exempt a final, you have to have a cumulative, which means semester one and semester two average together, 90 or above to not take the final. I know a lot of you guys are kind of riding that line of will they, won't they, exempt the final. This is the very last summative going in the grade book. Um, so you want to do well on this so that way you have a good chance of not taking the final. Um, I've had it happen in years past with people who are writing with that 88 and they're like, oh my gosh, like what do I do? And they give their all to, excuse me, this unit, they don't lose track of anything. Like they don't like lose sight of the end. Um, and they do a great job. They do a great job on their summative. And then hooray, hooray, they end up getting like, well, good grade on summative and it pushes them to like, 89.7 like and that puts into 90. I've also had it happen. People have a 91 and they're like, no, it's going to be fine. And then they don't really pay attention. They make mistakes. They get lazy and it ends up hurting them. And they end up with an 89 or an 88 and they have to come take the final. Um, and by come take, I mean, you have to take online. So don't do that to yourselves. Um, this is the opportunity. It's not necessarily a hard unit, but it's very fun and involved. And so it's a good chance for you to get back um, more points so that way you don't have to take the final. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, reminder, overview. Make a copy of the packet. It's digital. You're going to share it with me the very specific way I tell you to in the directions. So that way I can leave comments. And you're still going to go back to week to week the same packet. I don't have to make you submit it again. I just need to see that we're making progress. Um, you're going to make your discussion post on Friday at 3 p.m. Um, you don't have to post on all of them. Just pick one thing to talk about. I give you a few options. And then by Sunday night, you're going to post on three other people's posts. Um, I have a good feeling that most of you guys will have your post up by you know, Thursday, Friday. So if you wanted to go ahead and get your free post done once other people have their stuff, that's fine by me too. Um, I don't want you to see you guys repeating the same thing over and over again. I want to see good commentary and like an attempt to have some kind of involvement. Um, I look forward to this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Wait. Oh, there we go. Now, bye.